in this video i'll show you index and match formula in microsoft excel and how it's better than vlookup i'll make this mini searchable project using index and match formula so that you can understand the formula completely here is the data we'll work with here we have month from january to december and sales of different product example mouse keyboard headphone etc I'll select a month and a product name and I want to see my sales here. For example, I'm giving March in the month field and I'm giving keyboard in the product field. So in sales, I'm getting the sales of keyboard for March month. So let's start from the scratch. Use data validation to bring the month and product name We have to learn both index and match formula independently to make this. I'll start from index formula. What is index formula? In a word, it's a formula which refers to a cell by giving a row number and a column number from a range. Example, I want to refer the sales of keyboard for February using only index. So I'll type index. I'll select this as range number. You must have to give a range. Now I'll give 2 for row number as February is in second row and I'll give 3 for column number as keyboard is in third column. Now it's showing or referring the cell that have sales of keyboard for February month. Now if I change the row or column number, what will happen? It will give a new result. For example, I am giving 10 for row number and 1 for column number. Now it is showing October sales for mouse. As row 10 and column 1 intersect here. But if we give a row or column number out of the range, what result it will give? It will give an error. For example, our range is this. We have 6 column, but I am giving 8 for column number. As 8 column is not in our range, so it will show an error. So now we have understand that index formula refers a cell by row number and a column number. This is how index formula works. Now I will show you match formula, then combine index and match formula together what is match formula in a word match is a formula which keeps position number of a cell from a selected range using a lookup value index directly show the data whereas match formula give the cell position number from the range example I'll type match. Then I'll select this month or type a month name as lookup value. I want to see the position number of this month cell within this range. Then select a range as array. Now the formula will search this month from this range and will give the position number. Give 0 for exact match. Now it's showing 2. That means this month is in the second position from that range. If I change it to 5, it will show May as May month is in the fifth position of that range. I will give another match formula for this product range and to see in which position this product is from this range. I will type match, select this as lookup value, and select this 
as range 0 for exact match now it's giving the position of this product within this range so it's working as like column if I change it to mouse it will show the mouse position okay now we know both index and match formula but we have to use it together to find the sales for this query list if you look at the index formula you see we have given both row and column number manually to find the sales but now we can use match formula to find the row and column number using lookup to make this automatic so we'll copy this formula and we'll paste it here instead of row then we'll copy this formula and we'll paste it instead of this column number and it's working now for better understanding i'll type the whole formula once again type index select this as array or range for row number it's for as a problem but we'll use match formula here type match select this month as lookup value this is as array 0 for exact match for column number it's 3 or keyboard as it is in the third column but we'll use match formula here type match select this product name as match value select this as range and 0 for exact match now this match formula will bring out the position of this keyboard as 2 and which will be the column number and our index and match formula is done now if you change the month and product name the sales will change accordingly i hope you have enjoyed the video subscribe the channel to watch more video like this and a mega collection of dashboard and chart videos that you haven't seen before thank you